Haitians are streaming out of the Dominican Republic after a crackdown on undocumented migrants. They have packed and are making for the international border after a deadline passed for them to get registered. The government has defended the move as necessary and reasonable. But human rights groups say it is rooted in long-standing racism and xenophobia towards darker-skinned Haitians. Chad Jean, a 22-year-old mother, said she did not believe government efforts were simply to register migrants so that they can get residency. She thinks they want them out. It's not that I want to return, but I'm being bothered a lot. They want to send us home. I don't want them to hit me or my son, so I've come on my own accord. Jean has little faith in the program after hearing of friends paying hundreds of dollars for registration with little to show for it. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees has warned the exodus could be devastating for already strained Haiti. The Dominican government insists there will be no mass deportations, but the migrants are not taking chances. A lot, a lot. During the day, sometimes 50, 40 buses are arriving full. They get off, their dishes, beds, chairs, everything goes over there. No official figures have been released on the number returning home, but hundreds of thousands are expected to be affected. The Dominican army has 2,000 troops on standby to help remove people who fail to meet legal requirements needed to remain in the country.